What's up, y'all? It's the J. Roos Theory. Still got my suntan face on. I was on the set of a Marvel movie that'll remain nameless for the last week, a uh, couple days, 12 hour days, long days. Fed us well, man. Fed us well. Shout out to them caterers. But, uh, I was watching a round table on the zone about uh, Phil, you know, with Philip Hergovich, Daniel Dubois, Zhang, and Deontay Wilder. I thought Dubois and Hergovich had the the best the best attacks on each other verbally. Uh, Hergovich was saying the guy that was interviewing everybody asked Hergovich what he saw when he looked at Daniel Dubois, and he said, "I see big biceps, but I don't see big." basketballs cleaning it up <laughs> and uh, you know he said it takes heart and basketballs to win a fight and he started asking Daniel Dubois about what happened when they sparred and uh, he said he sent Daniel Dubois to the hospital and Daniel Dubois uh, acted like it didn't happen and then Hergovich was like you know sup lying <laughs> and then uh, Oh, man, it was hilarious. Dubois was talking about, man, I was 17 years old. He's like, Ergovich was like, you're not seven. You weren't 17. He's like, and you had small gloves. I had big gloves. He's like, I put on the gloves you gave me. It was at your gym. Man, Ergovich is funny, man. I had no idea he was that funny until I saw an interview from him a couple uh, months ago. But he's got this constant smirk. He might be a li uh, overconfident, though, so that's why I'm going with Daniel. One of the reasons I'm going with Daniel Dubois, I think Dubois is uh, more focused. He's on a high after his demolition of uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. People still want to call Daniel Dubois a quitter. Any other time, you're as good as your last fight, but now all of a sudden he's still a quitter. He's already overcome that. I'm not going to call him a quitter. And... Um, People will be like, well, if you quit once or twice, it's still in you. Yeah, well, he won once or twice, so winning is still in him, too. I got Daniel Dubois probably by uh, decision or late stoppage. Um, I think Hergovich just isn't the same fighter as I saw sparring with Deontay Wilder years ago. I think uh, his punch output isn't – he doesn't throw a lot of punches. Daniel Dubois does. And I think Daniel just wants some get back, especially since Hergovich is, you know, overlooking him. I believe he said before that he'd retire if Dubois didn't beat him. So I'm like, uh, you know, I mean, he said he'd retire if uh, he didn't beat Dubois. So he's putting a lot of pressure on himself. He seems to be overlooking Dubois, like acting like he can't fight. The, those sparring sessions were years ago. Like Dubois said, he barely knew what he was doing. But uh, Hergovich is just funny, man. He, he said we fought in your gym and like, like there was no big gloves. And um, oh, Daniel Dubois said about him wearing the bigger gloves and Hergovich wearing the smaller gloves. Dubois was like, he's a sneaky guy, you know. I guess saying he was uh, cheating. But I just think Dubois is gonna go in there and out punch him and hurt him a couple times. Maybe, maybe even drop him. If Zane can drop. Hergovich, I know um, Daniel Dubois can. So I'm picking uh, late stoppage, maybe 11th to 12th round or decision for Daniel Dubois. Now, uh, I know a lot of people want uh, Hergovich to win so they could see Anthony Joshua fight Hergovich. But hey, either way, it's a good fight. Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois. Or Anthony Joshua versus Hergovich, you you know you're gonna want to see either one of those. But that's what I thought. I'm just now seeing this round table with everybody, and uh, I'll probably talk about Deontay and Zhang a little bit more. I saw an interview with Malik Scott where he said they want to send Zhang to the hospital. You know, kind of doubt that, but uh, you know, not unless he's there to visit Deontay. <laughs> but uh yeah and uh who else was at the at the round table I guess it was just those four I feel like I'm forgetting something anyway um what were your thoughts of the round table who do you have Daniel Dubois 
or Philip Hergovich. Hergovich, very funny, man. It's like a funny Ivan Drago. And there's a wrestler that kind of looks like him, too. Or what's his name? Gunther? Gunther? Anyway, an older version of Hergovich, anyway. This is J. Roos Theory. If you wish to donate to the platform, the cash app is dollar sign J. Roos 33. Don't be a dying and dasher. Support the platform if you can. And, uh, LSR forever. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, and be fearless. Yay.